Do you want insane aim like tens? Well, have no fear, your favorite Radiant player, Rem, is here. And in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get Raw Excel and answer any questions you may have about Raw Excel and even show you tens' Raw Excel settings. I'll also be giving away an Araxes bundle to one person who likes this video and comments what type of educational content they'd like to see from me next. And I'd also like to say thank you to Valent Tracker as I wouldn't have been able to do today's giveaway without today's video sponsor. Before the video starts, I'd just like to take a quick second to speak about our sponsor Valent Tracker, which I've actually personally been using for about a year now to track all of my in-game stats. It shows you your agent win rates, headshot percentages, map win rates, and so much more, so check it out. It also has a cool feature which actually shows you your teammates' ranks and stats when you get into a lobby, and there's also a live match feature that can show you the stats for both teams while you're in a live game. And a match history tab to go through everyone's stats after the game. I also really think the guides tab is cool as you could learn a bunch of lineups for any agent while you're mid game. If you want to improve your gameplay by downloading Valorant Tracker, check out the link in the description or the pinned comment. Now we're going to hop straight back into the video. So I know I've seen a lot of people on Twitter and TikTok say that raw Excel is bannable and I'm here to tell you that it is safe to use as the anti-cheat specialist over at Riot confirmed on Twitter that they do not ban for it. And then on top of that, Riot Evermore also confirmed that this is true. So you don't need to worry about being banned for it and it is safe to use. So when you have raw Excel, there's a couple settings you're going to want to change to make it feel more smooth. So for first, go to your Valorant on your desktop, right click on it, go to properties, find compatibility, and then go down to change high DPI settings. From this, click on it and click override high DPI scaling behavior, and then set it to OK and apply. After you've done this, find your mouse settings, open this up, go to additional mouse settings, find pointer options and make sure that you don't have enhanced point of precision off this is windows raw excel and it can cause some input delays so definitely uncheck this because you're doing a different form of raw excel and you don't want the windows one it's pretty bad so click apply here and then you're all set so the other setting you're going to want to change is go to your valent go to settings go to general find raw input buffer and set this one to on all right guys to actually get raw excel on your computer what you're going to do is you're going to go to this github link and then you're gonna go over to here. You'll see releases on your right hand side of the screen. Click this. And then from there, you're gonna download the raw Excel zip file. This is the newest release. Once you have this, you're gonna open up the zip file. You'll need WinRAR for this. And then from there, you'll open installer.exe. Once you've installed it, you can close it. And then from there, you'll need to restart your computer. And once you've restarted your computer, you'll open your rawxl.exe. So I'm gonna restart my computer now and I'll catch you guys again once I open it back up. Now that you have rawxl installed, the first things you wanna do when you open it up is go to your charts and change your DPI to whatever DPI your mouse is on. So I'm on 800 DPI, so you'll change this to 800. And then you're going to go down to pull rate and this is your polling rate for your mouse. Make sure to set this to 1000. You don't want any uh, input lag caused by raw Excel. So this is really important. And then also one other feature you can use but isn't necessary. Uh, you can use streaming mode which actually gives your raw Excel curve a green screen effect. So you can use this to show your raw Excel curve on your OBS if you're streaming or recording with your raw Excel curve. Now I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to find your own raw Excel curve. I use raw Excel curve helper v4. This was made by someone named it's happy go lucky. I'm going to link this one down in the description for you to click and to use this. I'm going to show you how I'm going to run through it real quick with you guys. So you'll go to this and then you'll click file, make a copy and then click make a copy. It's important to note that you do actually have to be installed to your Google account at the time to do this. So make sure you're logged in. Once you're here, you'll put in your DPI that you're using. So for me, I'm on 800. My desired DPI feel, I'm going to do 1600. My in-game sense is currently 0 0.35. So for this, we're going to pull out the calculator. Usually for finding a lower sense, what I'll do is I'll take my high sense, which is 0 0.35 and I will divide it by two. So for this, I would input 0 
right here, 0 0.175. And that gets me a sense multiplier of two and a cap output limit of two. And if I want to find a higher sense, I would take 0 0.35 Sorry, 0 0.35 and then I multiply this one by 3 so I'll get 1.05 oh 1.05 and that'll give me a cap output of 3 and a sense multiplier of 2 and if you're using two EDPIs the best way that I do this is for my low DPI I set it to 280 as 280 is the average EDPI of all the pro players so I'll set it to that and then for my high EDPI, I'll do 280 times two. That'll get me 560 and boom, just like that. We have a new in-game sense and two and two new curves that we can try out. So if you're too lazy to find your own RxL curve and you want to copy Tenz's curve, I'll start with his so you can try it out. You're going to go to classic. You're going to set your acceleration to 0.05. His cap type is output. His cap output is 1.75. His input offset is 15. And his power is set to 2.5. Once you've done this, just click apply. You can see your curve here. It's updated. And then you can try this out in game. Now, this is one of the curves that I personally use in Radiant Ranked matches. So I will go to Classic. I will change my sense multiplier to 0 0.25. I will change my acceleration to 0 0.03. My cap type is output and then my cap output is set to 2. Input offset I have on 0 and I have my power on 2.4. Once you're done with this, click apply and you'll see your graph. You can test it out to see if it's moving the way you want it to be. And yeah, we'll hop on to the next one. This is one of my backup rock cell senses that I use. This one's on natural. And then we go to sense multiply and set it to 0 0.72. And then we set our decay rate to 0 0.1. Our input offset is set to eight and our limit is set to 1.8. After you have that, click apply and you can see your curve. This one is much better when my aim is feeling off. It's a little bit slower. So yeah, try this one out as well. That's going to be all for today's video, guys. I hope it helped you out. And if it did, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And if you have any questions or need any help, join the Discord in the description as it's going to be the best place and easiest way to contact me. Thank you guys so much for watching and the support. And thank you for almost 40,000 subscribers. Peace out, guys.